What I want you to notice in this next segment are two things. One, there's a torso lean to the right hand side during stance phase or the weight bearing phase on that side. And two, there's an increased arm swing on the right hand side as evidenced by the right arm crossing in front of the body much more than the left side. We'll watch the segment twice. In this next clip, in addition to the increased arm swing on the right-hand side and torso lean to the right, I'd like you to look at two additional factors. One, an increased progression angle, or the angle at which the right foot strikes the ground. And two, there's an increased amount of internal rotation of the left knee during stance phase, or the weight-bearing phase, on that side. Let's take a look at some of this patient's symptomatology and see if we can figure out what's causing it and then propose some remedies for that. One of the first things that he stated was that his toes click a lot. This is most likely from inadequate foot structure. We could see from the stills at the beginning and later from the gait evaluation as evidenced by the increased progression angle and increased valgus angle of the heels visible in the lower clips that this patient does not have strong intrinsic musculature. The overpronation, which seems to be occurring in the rear foot as well as the midfoot, is causing a conflict at the metatarsophalangeal and interphalangeal articulations, which is creating some of the cracking and the popping. Remedy for this would be appropriate exercises to strengthen the intrinsics. We could start by rolling a golf ball on the bottom of the foot, doing simple toe up exercises, and walking barefoot for short periods of time. Manual methods could be done to stimulate this musculature um, as well. I'd like you to look at one more thing in the video clip. When he strikes on the right hand side, there's a very mild valgus moment which occurs of the right knee. In other words, he places weight on the right knee, it wobbles for just a second, and falls medially. Watch carefully in this next clip for that. The patient stated in his history that he had broken his right leg. We noticed that this patient had a definite lean to the right hand side during weight bearing on that side. This is, could be due to a number of reasons. Number one, he could just have a very weak right gluteus medius. Number two, the more likely reason is when he broke his leg, the right leg is physically shorter than the left. This leaves him a few options for getting that left leg through. The first would be to lean to the right hand side to allow the left leg to clear. The second option would be to circumduct the left leg around, which we don't see in this video. The third would be to plantar flex the right foot and ankle excessively in order to create space for him to swing the foot through. He also complained of metatarsal pain left hand side. If this is the longer leg side and doesn't have adequate ankle rocker, he's going to force the metatarsal heads into the ground. This is going to create some of the problem. A great way to remedy some of this in addition to remedial exercises for the gluteus medius on the right hand side, and we'd know if we need to do this through muscle testing, would be to place a lift starting with about three millimeters on the right hand side and slowly graduating up until we no longer saw the lean. The patient has right IT band pain. This most likely is due to two factors. One, the tensor fascia lata needs to contract to help to stabilize the leg during stance phase on the right hand side. This is evidenced by that 
lean to the right hand side with weakness of the right gluteus medius as well as the small valgus moment that we see when the right foot hits the ground. He also complains of knee pain bilaterally. This could be, again be explained by the same reasons. There is excessive medial rotation of the left knee. This could easily be causing patellofemoral discomfort on the right hand side. These problems could be remedied with appropriate core stabilization exercises as well as the lift which was stated previously. We would need to increase foot intrinsic strength. This patient does not have an adequate foot tripod and we see that he pronates excessively through the rear and midfoot and seems to fall on medially. Strengthening of the extensor digitorum longus, tibialis anterior, as well as foot intrinsic musculature would certainly be indicated. The patient could do heel walking, toes up walking, as well as um, golf ball rolling on the bottom portions um, of the foot. There's more specific exercises, which we've detailed in other videos, that could help strengthen the intrinsics. Appropriate muscle testing needs to be done so that we can determine exactly which muscles are at fault. The lower back pain, as well as right-sided abdominal pain, certainly have a root in some of the things that we're seeing in his gait. Patient stated that he had had a hernia some time ago. Most hernias are inguinal at this point, so therefore there was a rent in the lower abdominal field on the right-hand side. This makes it difficult to help to initiate gait on that side. This patient seems to be using his hip flexors to initiate gait rather than his abdominal muscles to initiate gait. Already being weak on that side, causes a fault in this pattern is going to feel more pain. Also utilizing his hip flexors to a greater degree is going to mean increased iliopsoas activation. This will increase the lumbar lordosis and cause facet pain. This patient does not demonstrate um, great core control. We can see as he's going through gait, we've evidenced this by weakness of the lower abs as just stated as well as gluteus medius. These problems could be remedied with appropriate core stabilization exercises. We've gone through this in other videos, but we could certainly start with the non-tripod exercise, the side bridge, and the cross-crawl quadruped, in addition to um, other remedial exercises which may be appropriate for um, abdominal core stabilization, depending upon what we find on clinical examination. Thanks very much for tuning in and watching this case study with us. Again, I'm Dr. Ivo Worlup from The Gate Guys. You can find us at www.thegateguys.com on the web, or you can check us out on Facebook, Twitter, or Tumblr by typing in The Gate Guys. Take care. See you guys in the shoe aisle.